Hello everybody and welcome back to AJ Anime, where you can find all things anime. If there is anything that defines the greatness of anime, it would have to be the awesome transformations that characters achieve in response to life-threatening and traumatic experiences. Whether it's a villain becoming more powerful to thwart the hero, or a hero achieving godlike powers and abilities, there's just something absolutely mesmerizing about a character unlocking their true form. With that said, we've compiled a list of some of the best transformations in anime. Now let's get started. Starting off our list is a transformation that wasn't for the greater good, but was just pure evil, and it's Griffith becoming a god hand in Berserk. From the very beginning of the series, there were already hints that something was wrong with Griffith, and during the eclipse, he showed viewers the darkness lurking inside him. He sacrificed his comrades in a ritual that merged that physical and astral world. He became Femto, and as the name suggests, became a literal god who's not only strong, but very, very twisted. This transformation isn't only a really good plot twist, but it served as a trigger to one of the best revenge stories in all of anime. I mean, this man was best friends with Guts, but he destroyed everything Guts valued, and even went so far as to mess with his girlfriend. It was a cruel and disturbing scene in both versions of the anime, and yet, it's even more grueling in the manga. From the bad, we're going to the good. With the moment when Nezuko became an adult demon in Demon Slayer. It's rare to see badass female leads that have insane power-ups, so Nezuko definitely has to be on this list. Muzan might have regretted turning her into a demon because she straight up caused havoc. The cool thing about this transformation is that she instantly became more powerful than her previous form, and she was so strong that she dominated her fight against Daki, one of the Upper Moon's six siblings. Nezuko becomes a full-blown demon with a sinister look. She grows a horn on her head and tattoos that cover her body. She also has insane regeneration and strength, and her bloodlust was off the charts. Even her blood demon art became more powerful as she was able to control her individual body parts without them being attached to her. Although we didn't see her use this transformation often, her base abilities were enough to make her one of the strongest demons to ever set foot in the series. It had a lot of similarities with Gon's transformation when he fought Neferpito, but we'll talk about that one later. After Demon Slayer is another series where Japanese mythology became its main concept, and it's Jujutsu Kaisen. The moment when Itadori transformed into Sukuna was one of the best openings we could have for any series. I mean, Sukuna is quite literally the king of curses, the strongest in the series' history, and it just so happened that he merged with this random kid with supernatural physical abilities. By eating one of his fingers, Itadori reincarnates Sukuna within his own body. It was a shocker to see just how strong he was and how he obliterated the curse that Megumi was having a hard time with. It was iconic, but what made it even better was when Gojo showed up to fight him. It wasn't flashy, and there wasn't a lot of dialogue explaining what he had done in the past. We just knew his reputation, but the impact was so strong. It was a great start for what was going to become one of the best series Shonen has ever seen. Remember when I mentioned Gon earlier? Well, here he is now, and he was just as awesome, if not better, than Nezuko's transformation. It would be disrespectful not to include it in this list. When Neferpito kills Kite, Gon is just filled with rage and anger to the point where we don't even recognize him anymore. He transformed into an age where he was strong enough to defeat Neferpito, even if it meant sacrificing everything he had been working so hard for. The cost for this godlike transformation meant he sacrificed his potential for his growth as a Nen user. He had the iconic hair to the ceiling look, and the black and white animation to symbolize his anger just hit the spot. He also gained a very intimidating look paired with the muscles to match. Gon didn't have any mercy, and even when Neferpito's face was smashed in, he did not stop. What made it even better was the fact that Hunter x Hunter acknowledged that even MCs who have a lot of patience always reach their breaking point, and it's not going to be a pretty sight. This moment was what everyone had been waiting for, and it was signified that the end of the attack on Titan was near. Every anime fan had been waiting for this moment, and when it happened, everyone couldn't help but open their mouths in shock. 
Eren's founding titan was humongous to the point where it even dwarfed the colossal titans that were 60 meters tall. Another thing that made it so terrifying was that he gained the ability to call on the previous users of the Nine Titans and basically had the best security team in the entirety of AOT, if the Ackermans didn't exist. It truly felt like it was the end of the world, because imagine a Titan that's taller than and bigger than anything you've seen walking towards you. This transformation didn't only serve to power up Eren, but it had a significant effect on the plot, as it showed viewers that Eren was already at the point of no return. Using the power of the Founding Titan and the Rumbling, Eren was able to kill 80% of the world's population, making this one of the most impactful moments in all of anime. You can also make this video impactful by smacking that like button and subscribing to the channel to help us grow our anime community. Now back to the list. Goku has had a lot of transformations over the years, and probably has the most out of all anime MCs, to be honest. But there was one where he reached the peak of his abilities. Or is it? Well, I'm talking about Ultra Instinct, which is way, way more powerful than Super Saiyan ever was. Ultra Instinct elevates Goku's abilities to the extreme, and it gives him the chance to fight toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jiren, one of the strongest fighters in the Dragon Ball multiverse. Goku's hair turns grayish-white, and he has this crystal-like aura flowing throughout his body, giving him an ethereal presence. He gains the ability to automatically react to all threats and attacks in the most efficient and precise way possible. This transformation is so busted that even the gods find it difficult to master, and yet a mere mortal was able to dive deeper within the domain of the gods and achieve this level. Upon Goku reaching the perfected version of this form, all of the universe's god of destructions stood up in awe as they witnessed the moment unfold. However, one drawback is that he can't sustain it for long and it takes up a lot of his energy. Still though, it's awesome to see that Goku unlocked a new form that's refreshing. If we're talking about ultimate forms, then there's one from Bleach that just made a better lasting impression than the others. And it's when Ichigo got his Mugetsu form when he fought Aizen. This was the final Getsuka Tensho, and Ichigo became Getsuka himself. The black aura with the long hair was such a great design, and when he used Mugetsu, no one could believe that he one-shotted Aizen, the person that brought the Gotei 13 to their knees. It's also important to note that both Aizen and Ichigo are in their final forms, and Aizen can't match what Ichigo brought out from the very beginning. This was Ichigo's peak, and everything from the animation to the timing to the character design was just well done. However, like all final forms, it had a drawback, and Ichigo's Soul Reaper powers are lost as a result of him using the final Getsuka Tensho. Even though Ichigo undergoes another transformation after this, we feel as though Mugetsu was still his best and most impactful form. We're keeping it up with the ultimate forms, because starting off our top three, we have Naruto using Baryon mode in Boruto. There's no need for you to worry anymore, Orta. I'm gonna take him down right now. Honestly, among the entire anime fandom, Boruto doesn't get too much love, but when Naruto first appeared with Baryon mode, the entire anime community was so hyped up. It might be Naruto's last huge power-up, and that's because the price for achieving such strong abilities was Kurama. Baryon mode made Naruto so strong that he was able to overpower Ishiki Otsuki, who is basically a god in the series. He achieved this by taking away Ishiki's life force with every hit that he landed on him, causing Ishiki to only have mere minutes to live before his actual death at the hands of Kawaki. He was manhandling Ishiki with straight-up hands the entire fight, and even taunted him at one point. The design was just too good, because it's not like his other transformations. It was simple yet impactful, with his Hokage cape being enveloped in Kurama's colors and his eyes being the same as Kurama's as well. It was an amazing yet sad moment because we had to say goodbye to the iconic nine-tailed fox. <laughs> of course, we have to add one of the most recent transformations to this list, and it's Luffy using Gear 5 against Kaido in One Piece. Once we heard that the drums of liberation were starting their beat, we all knew Luffy was cooking something up, and he brought out a banger. Gear 5 is basically the reincarnation of the sun god Nika himself, and it boosted Luffy's abilities to the extreme. 
his clothes and hair turned white, and he gains the ability to give everything around him rubber-like properties. In this form, Luffy's power is only limited to his imagination, and his hockey is simply off the charts. It was to the point that they had to use different animation styles during the fight. It looked like Kaido stood no chance, even if it seemed like he was invincible throughout all their fights. This was a significant turning point in the world of One Piece, and Wano instantly became one of the best arcs this series has ever produced. Who would have thought that our favorite pirate captain would end up with the power of a god? Finally, at number one... We have the most iconic transformation in all of anime, and to be honest, there's no denying it. If you were an anime fan since you were a kid, you would remember this exact moment when it first aired, and I just have goosebumps remembering it. It all happened when Frieza killed Krillin, and everything else was history. In a moment of rage and anger, Goku gave in to his emotions, and we see him reach the pinnacle of Saiyan strength and power. His hair turns blonde with blue eyes to match, and he gains a fiery-like aura that leaves Frieza utterly speechless. With this newfound power, he makes Frieza look like a warm-up session. It cemented the Dragon Ball series as one of the most popular anime in both the West and East. This is the first transformation in all of anime that every fan could say is iconic, and that's why it's at the top of our list. And that's the end of the top 10 transformations in anime. If you liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more videos like this one. If this video gets 500 likes, we'll release a top 20 version. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.